Hello, my name is Fred. Mine is a story about crime and punishment. I am actually a good boy, but once I became a criminal, and I am not proud of it. At school, I made friends with a group of very cool guys. There were four of us. We all made friends since early childhood, and I trusted them blindly. At some point, as we were growing, life didn't seem thrilling enough anymore. We were trying to invent ourselves some dangerous activities, from parkour to extreme acrobatics, but it wasn't what we needed. After some thought, we came out with a brilliant idea. Shoplifting. This thing is really dangerous if you get caught. And as we read in the internet, can even make an anti-global statement, which is kind of cool. We started with small things, like stealing a chocolate bar or a Coke bottle. We did it in a group, trying various schemes, someone always distracting supermarket staff and others stealing. We browsed specialized forums and found out there was an entire shoplifters community with elaborate techniques of stealing more expensive stuff. It was more like a sport. Thus, our actions became more elaborate. We didn't do it for money. We had enough pocket money from our parents. We did it for fun and adrenaline. In a couple months, we became professionals. Sometimes carrying out kilograms of expensive food and drinks from big supermarkets of our city. I will not explain the whole technology to you. It isn't right. But point is that you can do it successfully. Only if you are sure that your back is fully covered by your mates and you work as a team. We were quite successful, but the rule of life is that sooner or later, you would be caught anyway. We didn't realize it at the time. That day came unexpectedly. We were at a supermarket at a big mall. It was my turn to get the food while my friends distracted the security. Till now, I'm not sure what I did wrong. Point is that I was noticed. I put all the stolen products into my big jacket and accompanied by my team, went towards the exit where I was stopped by a security guard who asked me to unzip my jacket. I felt thunderstruck and all of my feeling of safety went away as I saw all three of my friends running away from me as far as they could. Honestly, I'm not sure what I would do if I were them, but probably I would remain because I still believe in collective responsibility. I was standing in front of the guard, unzipping my jacket and feeling that everybody was looking at me. I was ready to melt into the ground of shame. The security took me back into his office and asked me why I stole food. If I was in need or hungry, all of the sudden, I understood that shoplifting wasn't cool at all. And it was enough extreme for me, for the time being. I just fell into tears instead of answering. The security guy was very nice and agreed not to call the police if I promised to give up. He had to call my parents though, who came there absolutely furious and dragged me home. It took some time to convince them that I was really sorry and that I learned my lesson. The sad part was that I understood that I couldn't hang out with my friends anymore as I couldn't forget their turning their backs on me and leaving me alone. I never spoke to them ever since. So my advice to anyone is to think twice before you are going to do something illegal for cheap thrills. It can backfire horribly. If you have an experience like that, you can share it with the guys and they will make it animated. Please share and like my story if you like it. And thank God it's anonymous.